Mike, 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 do you want to be in Monkey's Friends? I thought it already was in Monkey's Friends. Well, I don't know, is it? Hey YouTube, how you doing? My name is Mikey. Hey, welcome to my vlog. But uh, today's not about me, it's about my friends. Welcome to Monkey Has Friends. I'm going to introduce to you a very good friend of mine. He's been in my vlogs before, did the news with him once. His name is Mark Harvey. Here he is. Come on through. Here's Mark. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mark Harvey, Mikey Hayes friend. <laughs> this is a section of the show that I like to call questions for Mark. Are you ready for these questions? I'm born ready. You're born ready? I'm born, I'm fucking Ron fucking Swanson. Ron fucking Swanson. Mm. Okay, the first question I have for you is, I asked this in my first ever vlog mm -hmm. to Justice. I know you watch my vlogs a bit, so I, I reckon you should know the answer to this. Mm -hmm. But, what's my middle name? <laughs> you have to divorce me as a friend. Oh no! <laughs> right, that's the end of the show. Nah, come on, it doesn't matter if you don't know. I don't know yours. Alright, let's keep it a secret. We're gonna find it out, man. We're gonna be like going through each other's wallets now, looking for like documents and stuff that have your middle name in. It was like fucking ninja style, mate. <laughs> it's sneaking into the house and just like having a ninja outfit on. I always have my window open as well, so if you climb up to the second that floor. That door's always open. I shouldn't really say That's that, but it doesn't matter, you don't know where I live. Anyway, we're sidetracking, man. Sorry. It's okay, it's fine. So, what's my middle name? William? Ooh, no. What's my middle name? David. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I find that. I'm sorry, all the Davids in the world. Yeah, how did we meet? Tell them. How did we meet? Fuck, man. Yeah. It I was. I remember really. I'm about to can't remember at all. <laughs> it was when a mutual friend Tate took us back to his house when he lived in Devonport Way. I've, I've known this guy a long time. I feel like we're being sponsored by Mountain Dew. We have been sponsored by Martin Jew, but I'm not allowed to tell the audience. They just We're have to see it and be like, but you keep it quiet. <laughs> I get that. Don't you don't tell us so, Mikey. Hey, don't you tell us so. We're gonna sponsor you. I don't know why they're like Brooklyn. <laughs> what, the, yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, Where's Brooklyn? Yeah. It. Um, Where's Brooklyn? <laughs> Where's Brooklyn? I don't man. Remember when we met? I was so young and immature and stupid and I used to wear that yellow fucking glove on my hand all the time. <laughs> like you that was like insane. Fucking, um, it was like Michael Jackson, like Bo Select and Michael Jackson. Shamon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can tell you a story about me and Mark. Yeah, in fact, I don't want to tell the story, but you're going to remember the story, I hope. But how did I try and get your number? I don't remember. I remember just refusing yeah. to give it to you. Well, we just asked me for my number and I was like, you have to try harder than that. <laughs> How else am I supposed to get your number? <laughs> you have to try harder than that. You have to try harder than that. I think that's what people should always ask people. But then, I'm a really like, quite guarded person. I don't really wear my heart. I think thing. I asked you quite nicely. Yeah, but um, I'm also just a grumpy... Saki fucker though. Saki <laughs> fucker? Is. Yeah. But yeah I, I bring out the best in Mark. I do. You get what I'm saying? Because you just put up with my moodiness. Yeah, but you put up with my craziness. Like me and Mark have actually we've lived together before. Mm. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, tr truth be told, he, he, he literally if I wasn't gonna live with him, I was gonna live on the streets. <laughs> like, I had nowhere else. That, like, like, remember when I wouldn't wake up with the fire alarm? Do you know that I went off in the place I live in now, and yeah. I just slept for it. Fucking hell, yeah. I didn't mean to put that on you, man. I'm no, sorry. no, it was just funny. I want to know, um, what is it that you say to me every time we get drunk together? <laughs> Probably lots of like, fucking hell, my poop. Yeah, but there's another one. There's another one. And you do say it, and you're going to laugh when you hear this. But you know what, man? I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Because we go out, and because we've got like a very similar circle of friends, nine out of ten times we're gonna see each other if we're both out on the same night. But we went out separately, yeah. and we get we get so drunk. We they just, always like we always end up like yeah, we always cross paths at some time, and then, and then like, we have like a good like together. half hour just like chilling, dancing, catching yeah. up and shit, just getting drunk. Forty-five minutes of like 
being in each other's company mm -hmm. can take you from tipsy to fucking wrecked. That's 45 what, minutes, like, man. Yeah. 45 fucking minutes. I'm good at it. I think we're just as bad as each other. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, no, I don't know why. When we're in each other's presence, though, it's just, it's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, you, you want to step out of our way, I'll just join in. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, if you don't, <laughs> you want to get out of the way. Anyway, who's the most important person to you in your life right now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've thought about that for a long time. Me? <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> That's an awesome answer. It's like my immediate friends. Yeah? Yeah. It's just people that I can fully get along with, you know, run into them in any situation, in any state, and just get along. Those are the people that matter to me the most. The, it sounds like it'd be a wide range number, but not for me. This video is going to be fucking so long. <laughs> Jump cut. Uh, yeah. Jump cut again. Yep. Jump cut. Okay. <laughs> I call the jump cuts in this motherfucker. I call the fucking jump cuts. Jump cut. Jump cut. Jump cut, motherfucker. Jump cut. Jump cut. Jump cut, motherfucker. Jump well, that's cut, going like really techno. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing bad boys, but jump cut. <laughs> Pretty good. Jump cut. Jump cut. Jump cut. Jump cut. <laughs> jump cut. Yeah. Jump cut. Shit. I'm editing videos in the morning and I'm adding the jump cut. <laughs> Since I, I've known you for a long time, mm -hmm. in that time you've gone through many nicknames. Mm -hmm. Which one was your favourite? I think Sparky, I appreciate Sparky now because the people that call me that are people that matter to me and people that have stuck around because they obviously they know that. Yeah. So they've long, they know me long and like known me for long now. Sparky was pretty cool. So why do people call you Sparky? Mm -hmm. It's why? like I mentioned once that my old auntie used to call me it in college, and it just sort of caught on from there. But like, it's a Mark nickname. It's like a nickname that people it call is. Mark have, or people who are electricians. Um. Anyway, I got. One last question for you. Okay. Although I have probably asked you a lot of questions in this vlog. <laughs> well, main questions and then like... Subcategories. Subcategories of questions. It was questions. like an episode of QI without like Jonathan Davies. And all the freaking awesomeness of uh, Stephen Fry. Yeah. Yeah, the Don't last go. question is... Uh, when was the first time you watched one of my videos? Anything that I've made. I remember the ones that you used to walk to work. One where it was fucking tipping it down. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That was when I had my first job in the I probably watched the one from the beginning. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Like some of your videos are exciting, but I think I like the ones where you're walking because it's just like, I'm happy I'm, I'm leaving work or I'm, happy, I'm not happy I have to go to work. <laughs> That's always the underlying thing. Yeah, I could do it like I used to, but it's just, I just don't, I can't get on with that style at all. I'm gonna try and do what Kate is 17 does and Toby Turner some mm. days where I just cut it between it. The chorus sounds like cold play. Yeah, a dramatic song, man. I love you that. You probably think I'm singing that some pretty serious stuff, but in reality I'm singing about the slick of things I'm singing about. This is intense and emotional. <laughs> Billion rainbows and you're sad in oh, a yeah. case of oh. Crap, man. I love that. That's God like... comes down and gives you a million dollars. <laughs> Take that feeling <laughs> and put it in two words. I love to look at it. It's um, for the last, I think, probably about, mm. well, since the fucking thing came out, yeah. I have been listening to I Can Swing My Sword Sword every single morning. <laughs> I can, every you do like my sword morning. sword, that's my that's diamond friggin', sword That is the song that wakes me up, it's my friggin' me, man. Sideburns. Was I love Sideburns right. song in the evening. It's, it's such a talented YouTuber. singing it in German. She sings it in German and uh, to us, because we don't understand it, but because we know the words, yeah, we, we, we don't understand it. But I've actually done this experiment where I've played that video to somebody mm -hmm. who hasn't seen the Tobuscus version and they don't have a clue what she's saying. But they like they it. They actually did like the grandma reaction. Yeah. Did you see <laughs> the that grandma one? reaction. Did you see the grandma reaction? I want you to put like a grandma reaction yeah, but he tells you to... into this, like edit <laughs> like that, and like edit the grandma reaction. You, you do it more close to the... yeah, like that. Okay. 
That's a task and a half. The grandma reaction though, have you not seen the grandma reaction? He asked you to play it to your grandma who can't speak any English. So he, this, this guy went and did it. I discovered the book on my own. I was quite impressed. A long time ago though. Mm. I've been watching him for a good two years now. Well, actually, I've been watching him for just longer than my vlog started. Mm. I'm going to uh, go now because we're pretty much finished. Mark, thank you very much for Goodbye. that show. I don't know why I'm on my knees here. Weird. Um, but yeah, no, is there anything you want to say? No? No. You don't have any shout-outs to anybody that made Peace watches? and love. Peace and love to everybody. That's a good way to finish it. I have been Mikey Hay and this has been Mark Harvey. Thank you for watching. I am going to go now. Uh, you know I'm going to close this vlog on my nose because that's the way I roll. See you. That's a pretty cool jump cut. Mm.